Hello, chess friends, and welcome to Yazar of Chess Channel, and welcome back to our Com the Chess Games Play by Computer series. So, in this series, we're following some great games that have been played by top engines, uh, and today I prepared really a really special game for you. Today, we'll see the beautiful Stockfish 15 engine battling it out here with the black pieces against another top engine Berserk. But the really, really cool part is that we'll see now a beautiful game played by Stockfish with the black pieces in the Italian game in the so called Gioco Pianissimo. And I think we should really cover more about, uh, of this uh, Italian games, maybe even the Spanish game, this Rui Lopez line, because these are the most often and most popular openings now played also in top grand master level. So I think we should be really familiar with the common strategies and also with the common opportunities for both sides. So that's why I decided to really uh, show more and more about this classical openings that are playable for us. So that I think uh, you can also use maybe as your cornerstone uh, in order to prepare yourself um, in this in this uh, really often played openings. And this game is really really special because uh, here Stockholm will introduce just really new ideas but also great tactical opportunities be prepared this is again uh, simply a beautiful stock for 15 game so here uh, berserk opens with the move e4 so let's start we have e5 by stock for 15 knight to f3 knight to c6 and after bishop to c4 we have now the italian game so knight to f6 two knights defense we have now the move d3 going into more classical more uh really solid approach you could of course go into the fried liver attack but here uh, uh here uh, the berserk engine play the move d3 so we have now bishop to c5 the game transposed in the so-called gioco pianissimo really really a symmetrical position of the bishops we have now knight to d2 and now kingside calcing here by stock for 15 so also kingside calcing by berserk d6 and now c3 so here uh this berserk engine is preparing now the move d4 that's uh, the beauty about the move c3 uh in the continuation now a uh, really an interesting choice by stock for 15 knight to the e7 the idea about this move is to reroute the knight here g6 where we could have a further control of the e5 square and also one of the good squares that we can use uh, in the continuation is this beautiful f4 square if you prevent maybe uh, this f4 square um, uh, maybe with the move g3 then you're a little bit vulnerable on light square square here the g4 could be weak also the h3 uh, square could be weak so it's really really interesting line that stock for 15 played here so in the continuation we have now rook to e1 supporting further the e4 pawn and now preparing finally the move uh, d4 so we have now knight to g6 we have d4 we have bishop to b6 and now after bishop to f1 uh here berserk played again a beautiful idea tries now to play knight to c4 uh, liberates now the square for the knight and is trying to attack uh, for the, the dark square bishop and we have to say the dark square bishop uh in the gioco piano is really powerful piece it's uh, one of the best pieces there are many many uh, tactical shots that are possible with this bishop so basically we're targeting simply this uh, weak f2 square and there is also one game in the database in this particular position we have here ernesto in Arkiev versus vladimir kramnik and vladimir kramnik won the game uh with the black pieces which is very really, very really remarkable so uh here in the game kramnik also played the move c6 like stockfish 15 uh, he did here liberating now simply a new square for the bishop because we don't want to give up the dark square bishop immediately we want to stay with the bishop because it's basically our most powerful minor priest in the position so in the continuation knight to c4 we have bishop to c7 retreating now from the attack of the knight we have now d takes uh, e5 and now after move knight to e5 uh, here we have bishop to f4 uh, but the berserk engine continued simply the pressure around the square e5 okay instead of this move bishop to f4 you could maybe try knight takes e5 but this is a line that i think is simply too drawish uh, in my uh, taste here because after knight uh, d takes e5 you could maybe try uh, to trade off the queens queen to d8 uh, rook to d8 okay maybe uh here um, white simplify the game enough but i think uh, black is pretty much uh, good here because uh, we have occupied the d file we can play of course in the new future also some ideas of bishop to uh, bishop to e6 e attacking the knight maybe even b5 uh, a5 expanding here on the queen side but in my opinion this should be really a drawish line so that's why uh here uh, instead of this move um uh, uh knight takes e5 here the berserk engine played simply bishop to f4 continued simply the pressure as we said around the square e5 so we have now uh, queen to e7 supporting further the knight in the center of the board 
we have now knight to d2 and now an interesting choice here by stock 15 knight to g4 and you see now there is already already uh wild tension uh in the position because now obviously this is a weak square the weak square on f2 in the continuation we have now knight to f3 here by berserk again berserk uh try to uh continue the pressure around the square e5 if you try for instance something like f3 here uh to kick away the knight i've analyzed also this line then of course you get here b5 and uh, the idea is clear we want to kick away the knight and then to play bishop to b6 and then attack further the f2 weakness so probably white would take uh, the knight on g4 here but now we can also take out this one uh, you can also maybe try uh, to take out here the knight in the center of the board queen to e5 and of course okay maybe knight to c4 is an opportunity uh attacking further the position but now with queen to e7 also queen to g4 is an opportunity in my opinion this is perfectly fine for black because black is now bishop pair on the board black is uh, an open game and the bishops love of course this kind of a position look at this the king is still vulnerable here on dark squares we can even maybe try to open here uh, this diagonal there are even some checkmate threats on h2 maybe this is tactical per taxable by white but as i said i would not love to play now anymore this game from from white's perspective so as i said after move of a knight to g4 we have knight to f3 and now bishop to e6 simply continuing the pressure we have now knight to d2 and now f5 by stockfish 15 continuing now the pressure uh opening up the f file and now after move uh, uh e takes f5 now comes already already the stunner of the game here stockfish 15 played in immortal knight takes f2 really really wild stuff look at this uh, how stockfish is playing the game let's see now possible continuations because i think it's uh one of the critical moments so far uh if you take of course let's see uh first of all this uh, normal idea with king to f2 actually king to f2 is not maybe even so bad for white probably black should be better here but it's not maybe so devastating to play king to f2 now of course bishop to b6 would be the continuation you cannot cover okay with uh, bishop to e3 because you get here um knight to g4 the fork against the bishop and the king you would be forced maybe to escape here uh to e2 but uh, actually it's not maybe as i said to uh, so hard to play the game maybe bishop to c4 you take knight takes c4 and then you try to escape queen to uh, king to d3 queen to f7 that's now the only move that prolongs the game now for black now you step back okay you just uh, allow your opponent to take out the pawn here you play simply here bishop to d3 queen takes f4 and now after bishop takes c4 queen to c4 uh here we can also maybe take out this pawn on d6 and maybe maybe just maybe uh white can survive this position because white has also opportunities to uh trade off the queens here on e6 simplify the game but still probably as i said black should be probably better because uh, uh, we have pawns on both sides and of course uh then it's better to have the bishop against the knight when when there are pawns on on both sides of the board so okay i'm not saying this is simply winning here for black but as i said black should be better so that's why uh, we have seen after king chaff 2 you could maybe play this line but it's uh, simply uh really risky for white so that's why after knight takes f2 we have now queen to a4 by uh this engine berserk uh getting out of the range of the knight we have now rook takes uh, f5 and now bishop to g3 attacking now the knight we have knight takes d3 uh bishop to d3 and now after knight takes d3 also the rook is hanging so that's by rook to e3 uh, attacking simply the knight and now again this uh, pinning idea bishop to b6 again this bishop is coming very very active into the game but okay here uh the berserk engine has also some control play with knight to d4 this line is pretty much forced so basically there are not better continuations here for white or for black uh, black and white have to play now this game like this knight to d4 of course locks now the long diagonal against the king you have to make a reaction here in the continuation we have now knight to e5 in the continuation rook to e1 also a very powerful move here by uh, berserk berserk is now getting both of these rooks lined up on this very very dangerous file and notice also that the queen is here on the e file so the queen could be endangered also in the near future notice also that still the rook is hanging on f5 but also here uh the bishop is hanging on e6 so we have here rook from f, uh, uh, a to f8 this is uh, really again a beautiful move because even if you try something like knight to f5 here then we have rook to f5 okay you took the rook but also look at this your rook is hanging uh in the near future uh, this bishop is coming into the game there are opportunities maybe to play even some ideas of knight to uh knight to g4 continuing the pressure and if there's something like queen to g4 you can play rook to f1 
uh, grabbing the queen so many many opportunities i really don't want to show you now this game what happens if that happens but i think we can sense that in this types of positions when you have the bishop here on the board it's much much better because the game is open the game can explode in the center and then long range pieces like the bishops are really really powerful here so let's go back so after move uh, as we said rook to e1 rook to f8 was played by uh stock 15 also playing now very actively with both of these rooks we have king to h1 getting out of this mess and now finally stockfish uh when uh, the bishop is not attacking anymore the king retreats now with the rook here to to f uh, to f7 so we have here now bishop to e5 and now a beautiful counter attack by stock 15 many of us would i think take immediately and hope for the best but stockfish plays a beautiful bishop to d5 the problem is now for instance if you try something like let's go bishop to d6 the problem is now you get a queen sacrifice queen takes e3 after potential rook takes f3 e3 then you have this one rook to f1 knight to f1 rook takes f1 leads into force checkmate line really really wild stuff so that's why bishop to d5 is really a brilliant move now um, you have to play something else here in the continuation we have queen to d1 now stockfish took uh, the bishop here on uh, on e5 we have rook to e5 but now uh, with queen to uh, queen to f6 stockfish is now lining up bo uh, every piece now every heavy heavy piece now on the f-file and is threatening in some occasions even to play rook to f1 maybe delivering checkmate so far the f1 square is three times protected but imagine you just maybe move the queen uh, or knight or maybe the rook from from the first rank then you could get checkmated here by this beautiful uh heavy artillery on the fl so after move queen to f6 we have now knight to f3 by berserk berserk is now locking the fl where uh stockfish is of course uh, very powerful in the continuation we have now queen bishop to c7 attacking the rook we have rook to e8 here berserk is trying to simplify the game uh, by trading off more pieces which is i think a natural idea when you of course uh, feeling that you're attacked you should release the pressure in the game pretty good defensive move here by berserk we have now b5 not allowing here uh for white to use the square c4 for the knight we have now uh a4 g5 a really really aggressive move here by stockfish stockfish is trying to make further progress with g4 then maybe include the queen into the game targeting here um the h2 square with the support of the dark square bishop with the support of the light square bishop you could run into many many checkmate patterns so really nice move here by stockfish g5 opening now also the position on the king side so we have here rook to f8 perfectly fine by black simplifying the game as we said rook takes f8 and now h3 but now comes also a new beautiful move queen to h6 here by stockfish stockfish is now preparing also stunning g4 because you cannot take uh because of this beautiful activity by the queen on the h file so in the continuation we have king to g1 bishop to g, uh, b6 you see how uh cool it is to have bishops in this types of position when the position is opened when uh, there are many files many uh diagonals that you can attack now the bishops are working in beautiful harmony we have knight to d4 we have queen to uh queen to h4 trying to attack both of the, uh, this square d4 twice so that's why we have here queen to e2 if you play something like knight to f3 maybe um to continue here uh to defend the square d4 it's actually not so good because you get bishop to f3 uh, you cannot take it uh, with the queen you cannot also take out with the knight now you have to take out with the pawn after something like bishop to d4 look at this you cannot even take with the queen because your rook is hanging so everything is pretty much overloaded you have to play something like i don't know uh c takes uh, d4 but now look at this uh, with queen to g3 this is game over we can uh, now also take out this pawn this pawn is weak so it's a game that i think you can resign immediately so that's why that's as i said after we move queen to h4 we have now queen to e2 but now stockfish finally uh, grabs the knight and also grabs now one pawn we have queen to e3 after queen takes e3 rook takes e3 we have reached now the end game stage where black is up a whole pawn and has now completely completely winning end game because uh stockfish took simply another pawn uh, we have here b takes a4 and has now the opportunity to of course continue the pressure also against this weak pawn on b2 so this should be winning so in the continuation we have now uh knight to e4 rook to b8 we have uh, rook to e2 h6 fix 
seeing everything here uh also the weak pawn on g5 we have now knight to c5 uh, rook to b4 protecting the pawn we have rook to f2 king to g7 improving simply the position of the king the king has to play now in this end game you have to use your king of course we have knight to d7 rook to d4 knight to b8 trying to attack the pawn on c6 but nothing nothing special here stockers continue simply the pressure bishop to e4 rook to f2 now simply advance to the pawn h5 we have knight to a6 and now h4 not rushing we will eventually take out this pawn we just need to push this pawn maybe also slowly here but then one of this uh, will be a passer for sure maybe the c6 pawn but also maybe the a4 pawn will will be advanced in the near future so maybe this doesn't look like a winning position immediately but in the near future uh the position will be clarified we have here knight to c5 uh bishop to f5 rook to f1 we have rook to c4 knight to b7 rook to c2 and here after move rook chaff to in this position berserk resign so we can even trade off the rooks as we said uh, going simply into potential end game uh, we can then move the king here towards the pawn uh, the knight is a little bit out of game we can always also protect our pawns uh, with our light square bishop because uh, they are on light square so it's simply a loss game here for for white so incredible incredible game clear uh, played by stockfish i really like the this approach in the italian game maybe this is not uh the stockfish that we used to see in this sicilians in this king's indian games in this wild tactical lines that we have seen but really an interesting approach with this first move knight to e7 in the beginning uh getting out of the mess then we play here knight to g6 then we, as we said c6 bishop to c7 keeping the position in the central compact we can also continue maybe with ideas of bishop to g4 battling for the d4 square battling for the e5 square so really really interesting game is in the gioco pianissimo of the italian game so okay i hope that you enjoyed the game i really really enjoyed it a lot interesting ideas of the italian game for sure if you want to see more about this opening check out our uh mini series about this opening and some other games that we have covered so far here's the link of our playlist and if you want to see maybe some other stock for 15 engine games and maybe some other top engine games check out our comment chess games play by computer series here's also the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what to say chess is the best of course